My name is Shigeo Shield, and I'm a professor at Chiba University, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk to you about distribution of consensus in a broadcasting-based consensus forming algorithm. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to present our recent work at Performance 2020. This is an outline of my presentation. First, let me explain some backgrounds and the purposes of our research. In the presented work, I study a consensus forming algorithm in which agents initially having different opinions mutually exchange and thereby update their opinions to achieve a consensus. In a broadcasting based consensus forming algorithm, at each discrete time, one agent is chosen randomly to broadcast its opinion to neighbors. Agents receiving opinion compute the weighted average of their opinions and the received one. It has been proved that the opinions of the agents almost surely converge to a consensus, but little is known about the statistical properties that achieve the consensus. Thus, I investigate the statistical properties of the consensus in a broadcasting-based consensus forming algorithm. For this purpose, first, I will derive the fundamental equations, in other words, the fixed-point equations concerning the consensus achieved in the algorithm. Then, based on the derived equations, I investigate two extreme cases consensus forming by two agents, and consensus forming by an infinite number of agents. Next, I will explain the formulation of the problem. I consider the situation where an agent interacts over a directed graph with adjacency matrix A. At each discrete time, one agent broadcasts its opinion. The probability that agent I broadcasts its opinion at a given time is denoted by P sub I. Opinions of agents at time n are denoted by vector xn, whose ith element x sub i n is the opinion of agent I. Opinion updating at time n is expressed by this equation, where small e sub n denotes the agent broadcasting its opinion time n and large q to small k is a matrix with the following elements. Here, wji is a parameter indicating the degree to which agent j influences the opinion of agent i. Now I will describe the fundamental equations for the consensus. This slide shows the additional assumptions and notation used for deriving the fundamental equations. I assume a mesh and homogeneous network between agents, and large x denotes the opinion broadcasted at time zero. Its distribution is given by this equation, and the consensus is denoted by large x sub infinity. Theorem 4.1 shows x sub infinity satisfies this fixed point equation. Here, the first and second terms on the right hand side are statistically independent. Theorem 4.2 shows another equation for x sub infinity, where x sub 0, x sub 1, etc., are independent random variables and are identically distributed with x. This equation is easily derived from the equation in theorem 4.1. This slide shows an outline of the proof for theorem 4.1. For reason of time, I will skip this slide. Based on the fundamental equations shown in the two theorems, we can obtain various results. First, I will briefly explain the results on the consensus of two agents. This slide shows the additional assumptions and notation. Without loss of generality, among two agents, 
Initial opinion of agent zero is assumed to be zero, and initial opinion of agent one is assumed to be one. In addition to this, I assume that p sub zero and p sub one is equal to 0 0.5. This assumption means that two agents broadcast their opinions with equal probability at each discrete time. I define this mapping F sub W by this equation. Note that F sub W is the inverse of the generalized control function when W is greater than 0.5. This slide summarizes the properties of mapping F sub W. For reason of time, I will skip this slide. The two theorems shown in this slide are the main result of the distribution of the consensus by two agents. For example, theorem 5.3 allows us to numerically obtain the distribution of the consensus by two agents. Theorem 5.4 shows that the distribution of the consensus depends greatly on W. Record that W is a parameter indicating the degree to which each agent is influenced by the received opinion. As W approaches 1, each agent becomes more influenced by the received opinion. This figure shows the shape of the distribution function of the consensus. This figure confirms that the distribution of the consensus depends greatly on W. Next, I'd like to show you the result on the consensus of an infinite number of agents. For discussing the case of an infinite number of agents, I need to assume that large X, which is the opinion broadcasted at time zero, is a continuous random variable. In addition to this, I need to use the notion of a stable distribution or stable random variable to show the main result for consensus of an infinite number of agents. In this slide, I give some definitions for stable random variables. For example, a random variable like that is stable. If, for any positive constant a and b, a z sub 1 plus b z sub 2 is the same type as like z, where z sub 1 and z sub 2 are independent copies of z. Theorem 6.3 shown in this slide is my main result on the consensus of an infinite number of agents. If large x is stable, the consensus x sub infinity is of the same type as large x. Using this theorem, we can derive a cross-form expression of the distribution of x sub infinity if large x follows Gaussian, Cauchy, or Levy distribution. If large x follows a Gaussian distribution with mean mu and variance sigma squared, the consensus also follows a Gaussian distribution with mean mu and the variance is given by this equation, where the variance approaches to zero when w approaches to zero, and the variance approaches to sigma squared when w approaches one. This figure shows the probability density function of the consensus when W is equal to 0.2. Here, black curve shows the PDF of the initial opinion, and red curve shows the PDF of the consensus. And blue dot shows the result by simulation when the number of agents is equal to 2, and the green dot shows the result by simulation when the number of agents is equal to 10, and the red dot shows 
result by summation when the number of agents is equal to 100. As the number of agents increases, the result by summation approaches to the result by the theory. If large x follows the Cauchy distribution, then the consensus is identically distributed with the initial opinion. This result also confirmed by these numerical examples. If large x follows the Levy distribution with the location and the scale parameter delta and gamma, the consensus also follows the Levy distribution and its location parameter is equal to delta and its scale parameter is given by this equation. Note that, in this case, the scale parameter of the consensus increases as delta decreases. This behavior is in sharp contrast to the case where the distribution of the initial opinions is Gaussian. Finally, I'd like to conclude my presentation. In this study, the statistical properties of the consensus in the broadcasting-based consensus forming algorithm were investigated. I found that in the infinite number of agent case, if the initial opinion follows a stable distribution, then the consensus also follows a stable distribution. I also found that a closed-form expression for the distribution of the consensus exists if the initial opinions follow a Gaussian, Cauchy, or Levy distribution. Thank you very much.